Joe Jones uh, himself claims to have created his version of the, the hi-hat in 1926. So by that time, Skip had already been using his for a couple of years. The the Skip Rutherford uh, version, the prototype, um, he was using by 1924 in, in the upright version of it. Yeah. Uh, and, and he proceeded to use it from 24 to 29 in the incarnation that I have a, a diagram of. Now, and these diagrams can be seen in an article that I wrote for a Drum Magazine, but it, it's really kind of interesting how it came to light and kind of a funny story and, and kind of a tragic story. Uh, but what happened was I received back in uh, 1994 a big packet from my friend uh, Mike Morse. And Mike Morse at the time was an uh, international promotions manager, uh, kind of a marketing position with uh, Zildjian. Also for 10 years, uh, Mike was the West Coast artist relations guy. So he was kind of the West Coast version of the uh, John de Christopher Lenny de Musio role. So he was working with a lot of, of top drummers and accumulating a lot of stories. And he was, he was just an all-around great guy. And all of a sudden, I, I'd known him since the late 70s. He worked at Marshall Music in Lansing, uh, Michigan, before he ever you know, got into the music industry, per se. But, uh, but anyhow, uh, I get this big packet from Mike, and I open it up, and... There's page after page after page of text and drawings and notes and everything from this Skip Rutherford. And, uh, I mean, it was his whole life story. The guy went back to how he got interested in percussion in the first uh, place. And a lot of drummers, when you get to talk to them very long, it's not long before you hear what really inspired them. Mm -hmm. I can't count the number of people that, I've talked to to say it was the Beatles on Ed Sullivan sure. and that night they knew and it, and it flipped on a switch and so on. Uh, William F. Hudwick Sr., it was a, a parade in Chicago. For Skip Rutherford, uh, it was the, a shrine band at the Pasadena Rose Parade. Hmm. And and he knew from that parade on he was going to be a drummer. And uh, he he uh, had an uncle that encouraged him and even gave him the money to go out. And all he could afford was a pair of cymbals, but he ended up using those cymbals for the next 60 years. I mean, to high school and college had been a 50 year career. And, uh, but, but anyhow, all of this stuff was in this packet and all these pages. And it was, a, it had been, I, I called Mike first. I said, what's, what's the deal? And he said, well, <laughs> we don't know. I, he said, this, we got this packet. It was addressed to Armand and you know, Armand's a busy guy. He's got a symbol company to run and it wasn't clear why he got this packet of papers, it, but it goes through this guy's whole life story and has all these drawings. And it points out uh, that he, he made these prototypes in, in 1922, 1923. He had a working operational hi-hat wasn't called that, but, uh, this working, uh, prototype going by, uh, 24 mm -hmm. and used that for, you know, five years, uh, before I went on to other, other versions. Anyhow, at Zildjian, they, they just didn't know what to do with this. They, <laughs> Armin certainly didn't know what this was all about and he didn't know what to think. I mean, what do you do with something like that? Do you yeah. respond to the guy? If you respond to him and say, no, you weren't the first, <laughs> then you're just creating a, an adversarial yeah. situation. And if, if you threaten him with litigation, uh, you know, it's a little early for that. And sure. it wasn't clear even what he wanted. If he wanted verification or authentication or royalties, maybe for all the high hat symbols. Oh, so best man. not to say anything and just pass the buck. So they put it on another guy's desk <laughs> and it went from desk to desk in the Zildjian offices for over six months. <laughs> and, <laughs> and finally about the second or third time it came to Mike's desk, he punted and he, he sent it to me <laughs> and, 
when I called him for an explanation, he said, we just didn't know what to do with it. We don't know what this guy wants. We don't know what his claim is. Um, we don't know how to verify it. We're not even interested in verifying it. Um, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so I thought, well, I'm going to talk to Skip. This is great because he had his phone number there. And I, I'd wanted to talk to Mike first and, and so on. But I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to talk to Skip. And uh, this is great because he, he talks about still having these symbols, still having these prototype stands and so on. So I, I called him and I, I asked for Skip. This, this older lady answers. And I, uh, she said, he's gone. And uh, she said they cooked him. <laughs> and what do you say? Oh I mean, God, yeah. I, I said, I, I, I beg your pardon. And, and yeah, she said they cooked him. And then it, she calmed down a little bit. She was still pretty hot and, and kind of mad, but I had no idea what was going on. Yeah. And, uh, she, she proceeded to tell me a story that, uh, relatives coaxed him into moving. And this was, they were in California and it was a 400-mile move to Oregon with his daughter in a U-Haul, and it had no air conditioning. Oh. So they got him in this big old truck with no air conditioning, and he's an elderly man, and it was over 100 degrees out. He should never have been in the truck, and uh, he, he died of heat, exha- <laughs> heat exhaustion, That's basically. Horrible. So, so he was gone, and... I I thought, oh man, all, and all that stuff. So I kind of uh, raised that subject. I, you know, I said, well, yeah. I introduced myself, explained why I was calling. I said, it evidently, you know, he still he he left all of these symbols and prototypes of the hardware that he had worked on over the years and so on. And uh, she said, oh yeah, I tossed all that. So. In the six months between when he he worked on this, this this whole packet and sent it off, and when I was talking to her, she had trashed everything. She had sent. I mean, she didn't save a thing of, of all those prototypes and the symbols themselves, the, the paperwork and everything. It all it all got tossed. 